Hey guys, what's up? This is Shirt Talking. Welcome back to my channel. And this is me talking about Volcar Anatomia. And I have some very good news on the game. We just got a new special pack release that gives you uh, unique orbs. This is right. Unique orbs directly purchasable by 7,500 gems. This is a very good price if you consider everything. We will also be getting 5 large stamina potion and 5 divine weapon chicken series. But this is not what matters. The unique orbs is what matters because when you equip them to your character, you give uh, kind of double damage or even more than that. Some characters even get more passives by just equipping their unique orbs. It's very important to deal with special bosses and hard content on this game. So you have 4 times to purchase this i it's showing three left here only because i already purchased it in mine at least my first one and i'll show you guys some recommendations and talk about what you can do with this i know a lot of people rage quit the game because they try to summon for their um their character they, they save it a lot of gems or even purchase it some and got the character but didn't got the orb and the orb is important without the orb the characters is not complete and this is why you can now fix some characters that that happen with, with which are summonings. So now let's just click here on exchange boots. I will just show you where you can uh, exchange for this unicorns. You will hear on permanent exchanges. And on permanent exchanges, you see this unicorn exchange ticket. Just turn off the other one, the divine fragments up there. Leave only this one. Check it. And it will show you a huge, a very, very, very huge list. Because we all know that Volcarnatomia has a lot of different characters. And it's like four years of character releases. So it will be very hard to decide which character you want to get the Unicorn. But I have some suggestions. And it's kind of depending on the generation of a character. I know a lot of people get confused because they do not know what generation belongs to certain characters. But it's a little easier now. Our friend on Discord just released it um, on Reddit. Uh, a list. Let me show you here. A unique arm exchange ticket set. And I, I will link the, the original link here on the description. So we can... Um, get a little more information and make it easier to choose you see that he also uh, say a little more things like uh, the whole of the character on your squad the, here on remarks if it's a critical healer an aoe attacker critical healer tank you see there are some roles that these characters can perform the uh, ailment inflictor the ailment inflictor hold doesn't does not really need a unicorn unless uh, you really want more damage but sometimes a critical hit Healer needs their orb to make uh, the healing. The part of the healing is attached to the orb. And tanks are mostly the ones that need their unique orbs as well to draw enemy attacks or just uh, to become even tankier. So uh, when you see this list, you can uh, it can help you choose by just uh, getting the options from below to top. You see Warax Kukuyo is the strongest character probably from this list because it's, it's kind of uh, choosing the last season characters. Then the, the more we go up, the more weaker they will become. But there are some characters that are very strong even when they are not from the current generation. Just like Hell. Hell is very, very strong. Queen of Winterhurst is very, very strong. We know we have Alice Valkyrie is a buffer, it's good. We have Shakugan that's very important because of critical hit healing. We have, let's see which more. We also have. Vanguard Warrior Aaron Green that it's uh, from the top and he's very very strong. We also have Divine Knight Alicia that can heal uh, and cleanse and she's also very good. It's still very good. There are a lot of options here so you can choose the best ones. Like uh, They also have Crimson Dragon Aelia that is uh, Generation 3 but can compete with even um, Sacred Light Valkyrie that is a Generation 4 character. She deals very similar damage. Demon Alpha is a uh, hybrid tank with some damage there's a lot of options a lot of good options here so i will try to see which ones i think are good i don't think you should go all the way to generation 2.5 or generation 2 or any other of the other ones so stick with generation 3 in in some other options here i think the under the only generation 2.5 oh, that it's okay is no maiden lenetef if you really want her and you you lack her orb. I think uh, Silver Herod Bride. Um, Silver Herod Bride is not Generation 2.5. Uh, I think it is a mistake. Dark Flower Cena is okay. 
She, if you really need some healings and you have the character but don't have the UR because it, it will give her the, the chance to heal. But it's Shakugan is still a top priority. If you already have Shakugan, you can get uh, the two together on the same squad and works pretty fine. So let me see another one here. I think um, Silver Haired Bride is okay, like I said, but she's not a 2.5. This is a near her on this list. Uh, Wake Atlantic is okay, but there are better options. Belinas is still very strong. Kalati God Lizard is one of the best choices you can have. Prison Dragon Aelia, like I said. Destruction Angel Syria is one of the best characters in the game because she has very amazing attacks to inflict status elements. Very good choices as well. Divine Knight Alicia. Eventide Hakura is becoming a little um, weaker for me. I think Divine Knight Alicia has better legs because at least she can increase the number of attacks and having that uh, now 3 increasing of number of attacks will give you 9 attacks on some turns makes a lot of damage when you unleash all your can't skills especially if you have some things that or some passes that increases the normal damage it will be very nice Vanguard Green is good I don't think Grun Lucian is good Jayo and Jun are good but they can be skipped they are actually 3.5 generation this is an error here as well so Kokuyo mm, no anymore I don't think she's uh, as strong as before. We have Hell, way better, but unless you don't have any other option, it's still an okay uh, uh, decision, I think. And then Shaq again. Uh, let me see. Black Valkyrie needs her orb as well to heal, so a very good investment. Alice Valkyrie. Um, I don't know, it's. Just, uh, yeah, Alice Valkyrie is becoming a little outdated in, in Japanese versions, so it's an okay choice as well. Master Loki is also a good one because he also gets healing with his orb. Queen of Itterhurst, same thing. She is amazing. I really wanted this, to have this character. Victory Goddess Fairy is mostly for people that really like to see the character uh, <laughs> being used. I really like her as well. Sacred Light Valkyrie, it's very strong, but uh, will be very... Um, uh, what can I say? Power crept by generation four, other Generation 4 characters. But it's still a very solid choice. And she also gives um, uh, some buff to her squad. She's one of those characters that be buffs the squad. And the underground Liu is very nice as well. She's a tanker. You need that. And Warrock's Kukuyu. Very nice as well. So these are my recommendations. Depending on what the characters that you have. Some of them do not uh, fare well, very well in the future. Like Little Match Girl Alice is a tank. But I don't think she's all that much future proof. Like Alice Valkyrie is not so good, Yukata Maya, Spring Goddess Norn. This, these characters here are strong, but only if you don't have any other options. But try to choose between the generations. Okay. So now let me let me just show you what I'll be doing here. So let me turn off the browser, and we are here back on the game, and we have um, a lot of uh, of options. What I'll be choosing is based on the the best characters that I don't have the orb. So I'll click here on Edit Party and then click on Characters. Uh, let me show you the best ones I will be investing is Crimson Dragon and Aelia and Shakugan. Simply because they are still very strong and I got them by the Returning Artifact banner. Meaning that I could summon them for Silver Tickets and had better choices, uh, better chances of getting. And it was very lucky I got the two. I know a lot of people also summon them for those banners and if they have one of those characters without their orb, that always the best chance to orb them. So Shekugan and Crimson Dragon Aelia will be my top one. If I wanted another one, let me see what what other one will be. Probably Dark Flower Cena, just so I can get some more healing on my Dark Squad. But after that, I don't think there's any other I want. Progenitor God Sephiroth is good, Drone Lucian is good, but not as much as I think. Generation 4 is around the corner and they do not hold up, in my opinion. Uh, mostly uh, characters that have some special effects alongside their kits means that it will get better value out of this deal. So I think I will only get three. So I can uh, still save some gems so for the future. Uh, besides this special pack, I want to talk about the end of the uh, fourth season of Thirds Battle Arena. So let me check here. I'll show you guys. We got some um, grand missions done simply because I got more. Uh, ranks. I am Master 1 now. Let me just uh, claim this and this one as well. Master 1. I think there's only those two ones to get. Maybe next season we'll give more ranks. And uh, yeah, this is it. And now we also got something on our gift box that uh, was because of the end of the celebration 
uh, with the uh, Volcar Connect crossover, 60 huge experience speed is quite a lot. If you are needing some gems just to purchase this pack, try to use this huge experience speed to get some levels up. I will do this uh, here to show you. Uh, there are a lot of characters that still can be upgraded like this Halloween Ethereal. Let, let me just go here on experience speed and I can simply give her some levels here and get some gems. On the case of Halloween Ethereal level 99 or on any other character that you raise to level 99 it will give you 500 gems. So this is some uh, emergency resources to get gems in the game. But this is it guys, I think this covers everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this pack, it is a sign of goodwill from the developers. We all know that sometimes they may seem a little stingy with things because they don't want to give too much because the game can be played by most of the time with just four characters. You don't really need to have a full diverse squad, but it certainly helps. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see each other on the next video. Bye.